Hey YouTube, how's it going? Alright. Uh, so today I want to talk about a record I got a couple of years ago by uh, Rob Lau. Rob Lau is the bass player in 90 Day Men. He recently joined uh, TV on the radio. There's a picture of the man right there. So yeah, he's got a solo project. This is known as Lichens. And all Lichens... Oh, this is their 2005 album, by the way. It's called The Psychic Nature of Bearing. Uh, my copy was released on Holy Mountain Records, but there's also a CD version released on Cranky Records. And the CD version has more of like a dark kind of thundercloud kind of thing, very thick billowing clouds with like weird hieroglyphics and symbols going all the way down the middle. But this is the vinyl version of Holy Mountain released. I don't know what makes it special or whatever, but why it got released on two labels, I don't really know the story there. But all the music is, is just some, uh, no edits, improv music that he just recorded at home. I would imagine just cross-legged on some like weird kind of fancy Afghan rug or something like that. And all it is is just like, I guess it's just some field recording, some found sound, and then he'll just put some uh, vocal effects and like finger plucked guitar, run everything through some loops and a digital delay. That's the only effect it's said on the internet that he uses, digital delay effects. But then he just layers this all and makes this kind of weird, kind of transcendental, kind of like psychedelic experimental music that has a lot of like drone, like drone structures and like ambient influences and stuff like that too. Very much so a chill out record for like contemplating the cosmos or like whenever you're in like a reflective mood like that. Good chill out kind of shit. I really enjoyed this record. It has a kind of like, like subtle subtle tension underlying kind of like eeriness going through it. Very kind of a mysterious almost like mystical kind of journey music, you know what I mean? Yeah, the only instruments on here is just like his little digital delay and some like chimes and bells, some finger plug guitar, you'll lose uh, also some electric guitar in one part, maybe even a sitar or something. It's not really a list of instruments that I could find, but that's kind of what I could hear. Uh, I have quite a few drone albums, experimental albums, minimal albums, ambient albums, on and on, and I haven't really heard anything like this. Like, Cloudland Canyons kind of sounds a little like it, but not really. This has more of like, kind of like East Indian kind of vibe, but I don't know if I'm just saying that because it has like sitar and like weird bells and stuff, but... Yeah, the only vocals on here are just some like wordless incantations, a lot of oohs and ohms and hummings and like, you know, it's an all kind of treated too and it gets layered in with the guitar and interweaving and makes this kind of weird, I don't know, mystical kind of sounding music. So yeah, that's a picture of Rob Lau right there, standing in front of some sort of, I don't know what that is, some sort of fountain or I don't know what it is, I don't know where he took this picture, it's a pretty cool picture though. And then the front cover pretty much explains the music. It's just, you know, very vast, very, you know, wide, you know, like wide open music. The, I think the LP is somewhere between 40 and 50 minutes long, and it's just divided between three songs. The last song on side B is like 23 minutes long or something like that. And then it comes with a sleeve here. It's got a picture of Rob Lau and some like tall grass, just kind of looking up. Then you turn it around and it's got these weird squiggly lines with these empty holes. I don't know if you're supposed to cut those holes out and make some sort of weird tentacle mask out of this. I don't really know. It's got some weird symbols and not really letters. I don't really know what it is. I've tried holding it up to the light because maybe you're supposed to hold it up and it makes some sort of message, but it just kind of looks like mosquitoes flying around him. Yeah, it looks like he's pondering something pretty seriously or squinting at the sun, but pretty spaced out looking guy. He seems pretty cool though. Dress is kind of sharp. I guess. But yeah. What I liked about this record is this kind of, you know, I like just submerging myself in like, you know, deep washes of sound, a weird kind of droney music like this. It's like having music that can, if you play it loud, it washes all over you and stuff like that. And that's also pretty, I appreciate it because it's all improv and there's no real edits in this. He just kind of recorded this without any intention of playing it live or anything like that. He wasn't really having like accessibility in mind. Pretty cool. I really, really enjoyed listening to this record. Uh, Rob Lau is based out of Chicago, which is where this was recorded. And yeah, it's just for people who are like drone heads, weird experimental heads who like, you know, submerging themselves in big 
things of mysterious sounds and you're not really sure what's going on. It's very much so a mellow experience though. It's not scary music or anything like that. That's all I can think to say. It's Lichens, Psychic Nature of Being, released in 2005 on Holy Mountain Records and on Cranky Records. Why it got released on two will never be known. And it's also pretty good music to put your cat to sleep. There he is. Meow.